a baking yes. show. And this is my mom. Hello. And this is me. Mia. Mia. <laughs> I'm Alicia. I'm natural. I now, do not come now to my all house. Of our, our house. Now mm -hmm. all of you. Can, 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 can I say something now? Yes. yes. All right. So, welcome to our little baking vlog. And today we're just going to be making some chocolate muffins. muffins. And we're going to be adding and some... And clear muffins. No, we're just making chocolate muffins. I don't like chocolate muffins. I like clear muffins. Then you can give it to Grandma. Okay. So today we're going to be making some chocolate muffins. And... So this brown was actually from Coconut Whisk. And we're going to be making it extra chocolatey by adding a few semi-sweet chocolate chips because Alicia wants it extra chocolatey. So that's what we're gonna do. And yeah, all we have to do is add one cup of plant-based milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we put the mix in and we're gonna mix it all up. And then we're gonna add everything to the tins and put it in the oven and it. When we're done, yeah. we're gonna do that, and then afterwards, we're gonna eat it all up because we want some chocolate muffins. Yum. So, here we go. Okay, today we're gonna start by preheating the <laughs> oven to 425 for um, and leaving it at 10 minutes. So, that's what we're gonna do first. And then we're going to scale all of our ingredients. All right, Hi. so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is line the pan with some cool liners, right? Can you guys do that for me? Yeah. Go ahead, put them in. No, pink goes here, pink goes here, yellow goes Do it on this side, yeah? And Alicia oh, yeah. will do her side. I'm gonna give you guys just enough. I do it on your side, Mia. Yeah. yeah. We're done. So now that we've lined the pans, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start mixing all the ingredients together. Oh my gosh, mommy, I never mix the ingredients together ever. Yes, you do. Yeah, I can mix a big giant. But before yeah. we do that, we're gonna actually measure out all the ingredients. So that's what we're going to do right You now. did measuring. I love measuring. I did that at school. Yeah, Me too. So then, then you know how to do it. Yeah. I measured. How to measure. I learned how to measure with people and with anything in your house. Shoes that I'm not wearing. And also anything that's in your house. She doesn't let me talk. Now you can talk. Now. Well, you can you can measure you can measure doors. You can you can measure a couch. You can measure a diamond. You can measure a wall, and you can measure a picture. And what are you measuring it with? We're measuring with ourselves. I see. Okay, so first. Thing So we'll be using a measuring cup and some tablespoons and teaspoons to uh, just measure out all the ingredients that we need and so that the kids understand what we're using here and they don't think we're just putting in the ingredients and they know that we're measuring. As you see, they know a little bit about measuring because they've done it in school and they've done it at home already. So because the chocolate chips are, because the brand is a vegan brand, we decided to use vegan chocolate chips. So we we decided to go with Enjoy Life because they are the best semi-sweet vegan brand out to date. Oh, we'll wait. So Alicia will put that in. Wait, wait. Okay, actually, you'll do this. And you will do this, and you will do this. So now we are going to start. We have all our ingredients. As you can see, there's only two ingredients, plant-based milk and vanilla. So we've, we have the vanilla, we have the plant-based milk. We actually used oat milk for this um, 
yeah, we actually use oat milk for this, so you can kind of see how it has a good consistency. And our chocolate chips are over here. So let's go, Mia. Empty out the beautiful packaging into the bowl. Oh, there's already some chocolate chips in there. Look at that. So we don't even have to add too much. We don't have to add chocolate chips. So go ahead and add some of the chocolate chips in there. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Add some, add some. I like using my hands. All right, I think that's enough because we already have some chocolate chips in there. And here's a little whisk. We're just gonna mix it up so that it's coated in the dry batter because there's already some good chunks in there. Now it's gonna be extra chocolatey. Yes. All right, Mia, can you add the vanilla? Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Good job. This is so Mia, if you want to mix this mix. Nope, 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 not yet, not yet. That's add the plant-based milk in. Go ahead. I'm helping my sister because we like helping people. All, all of it, all of it, all of it. Yeah. All right, and now you have something to mix with. So go ahead and mix. I want to mix. Wait. You can mix after him. Yeah, you can mix with me. Oh, there you go, see? Because mm. she didn't, she really want to mix. But Ooh, you. look at it, it smells so yummy. Yes. Take your time. Ah, we're getting some. Yeah. It looks it like mud. It does look like mud, doesn't it? Because mud. But it smells like delicious mud. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do it. <laughs> tastes yummy. Mommy, it tastes yummy. That's good. I'm happy you think it tastes yummy, even though it's not baked yet, because you guys are licking your fingers. <laughs> Oh, doesn't it smell chocolatey? Oh, smells like so this is how it looks like right now. It, sm it smells like chocolate mud. It smells like chocolate pudding. That's what it smells like. And chocolate mud, because I like chocolate mud. It, it has a good consistency and it smells delicious. So we're gonna start and see how down. nicely it bakes. Who's going to keep the chocolate? Can I eat the chocolate? Sure, you can eat the chocolate. Yes, I want to eat. Mm. We're just going to mm, eat the chocolate mm. because we like it. So we're going to use a ice cream scoop to scoop out some of the batter and just place it in here. But we're actually going to try to fill it up halfway because when it's in the oven, it's going to expand and it's going to rise into a beautiful muffin, just expand. like the picture. So this is the amount we have and we're just going to scoop it in there. We're gonna use another spoon to kind of just swoop it out. So as I scoop out everything, I'm just gonna try to make sure I get all the batter inside all the tins and that I really leave no waste behind because who wants to waste good chocolate muffin batter? Nobody. So as my daughter gets a toothache in the back there from eating all that chocolate, let's finish lining the muffins with and filling it up with the chocolate muffin batter.
Um. So right now I'm just cleaning up the muffin tin so that it doesn't burn and stick onto the pan and that way I don't have extra cleaning to do. So it's just easier that way. So take a look at our yummy muffins. I can't wait to try these. I'm so excited. My little bakers have made these yummy muffins, chocolate muffins, and now we're gonna put it in the oven. Let me open the oven for you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye, see you in a few minutes. So I did decide to open back the oven and add a few chocolate chips on top just for decor. It looks so yummy, I can't wait. Look at them. They're baking so nicely and it's only been like five minutes in. We still have five more minutes to go before we change the heat from the oven and lower the temperature to 350. So the company is called Coconut Whisk and it was founded by Bella and Miles and it's a vegan baking mix company and I really like it because it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's peanut-free, it's soy-free, and it doesn't get any better than that. The ingredients are simple, there are things that you know what's in it, and you don't really have to worry about all the extra unwanted additives and preservatives, which I really don't like. And I'm actually happy feeding my kids this, so I'm super excited to see how it turns out, because this is my first time making it. So let's see how it turned out. They should be ready now. Oh, these are definitely ready. Let's try them. Yummy. <laughs> Thank you for joining and watching our blog. It was fun and we hope to see you next time. Don't forget to grab your coconut whisk. If you choose to buy a product from there, also check out my link page where you can get 15% off. Thank you.